Hello everyone, I'm Mwok to Tech Block. Today we are going to be unboxing the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard that I have sitting right behind me right here. And we also picked up the Razer Elite Pack. I've never received one of these before. I've bought tons of Razer products in the past and a couple of times I got a headset for free. I got like a mouse pad for free, you know, things like that. But this time we picked up the uh, Razer Elite Pack that I have right here. So I'm going to just begin with unboxing this and then we'll jump into the keyboard unboxing in just a moment. But if any of you were curious, to what's in the Razer Elite Pack, now you'll know. So let's move the camera over here and dump all the items onto the uh, Razer keyboard that I have not unboxed yet. That's everything that comes with it. So first of all, we have a Razer dog tag by the looks of things, which is pretty cool. We also have a Razer lanyard right here. Very cool stuff. And by the looks of things, this is a coaster. Right, so at the moment I'm actually drinking a cup of coffee. So uh, there we go, that's gonna go there. Lovely Razer coaster. We have a, what is this? This is a sticker, oh, yep. We have a massive Razer sticker as well. We also have this, um, some sort of keychain I'm guessing, or does this clip onto like your jeans or something? Uh, we have a uh, get <laughs> GTFO don't interrupt an epic kill streak. Uh, we have, oh my Lord, are these stickers? Oh my God, what is this? These are all stickers, are they crazy? Look how many stickers there are. Jesus Christ, there's like 20 here. Okay, lovely. Right, so that's the Razer Leap Pack right there. You get a bunch of stickers, you get a coaster by the looks of things, GTFO, gaming in progress. Just before we unbox the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, I'd like to show you my current setup with my keyboard, mouse and mouse mat. So at the moment I'm using the Razer Black Widow Chroma version 2 mechanical gaming keyboard with the Razer green switches and here's a little lovely wrist rest and I'm pretty sure the new Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard also comes with this very, very soft wrist rest. And then for my mouse I have the Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse paired with the Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad. So that's my current peripheral setup. At the moment I don't actually have a pair of headphones for the PC so I just end up using my Apple AirPods for audio but I do plan on picking up the Razer Man of War wireless headset and I'll be pairing that with the Razer Chroma base station which is Razer's RGB headset stand. So I'll be picking those up in the next week or two so stay tuned for that unboxing and that'll be a great addition to my setup adding some more RGB peripherals here and there. But that's my current setup with my peripherals and my headphones, I guess. So let's jump straight back to the unboxing and unbox the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, take off this paper that's wrapped around the entire keyboard. Oh God, it's heavy. Right, it is actually pretty heavy for a keyboard. Jesus Christ. Yep, this is a very heavy keyboard. This keyboard is much heavier in comparison to my Black Widow. Holy crap. This keyboard is made out of metal, by the way. The top plate is like a matte aluminium finish. This is probably why the keyboard has so much weight to it, which actually I'm a fan of. I really do like having a heavy keyboard. So I can even do some bicep curls with this uh, when I get bored, you know, get some more gains. Right, so I've got this knife here uh, to open up the seal for the keyboard. Right, so I threw away the other box that came with it now. Let's unbox this beautiful Razer Huntsman Elite Optomechanical Gaming Keyboard with optical switches, dude! Oh! Right, so up here we've got the usual stuff right here. Congratulations, welcome to the next level of gaming domination. Uh, the usual uh, letter you get from Razer CEO. And then up here I'm guessing we have a quick start guide about the Razer Huntsman Elite Keyboard. So, taking a quick look at this. I wonder if there's anything here that I should pay particular attention to. So yeah, there's just a bunch of information here. You get two USB ports, one to power the wrist rest, one to power the keyboard. And uh, yes, I did say to power the wrist rest as the wrist rest is RGB, which I think is a first for a keyboard. So I hope the cables are actually long enough to reach my PC. And I have drilled a hole for my desk to route my keyboard wire through. Where is the wrist rest? I do wonder, is it underneath the keyboard? I think it might be. So, Here's the keyboard itself. Oh dear lord, it is pretty heavy. I, I really like that. I really like the fact that this keyboard is heavy. And the main selling point of this keyboard for me, it wasn't the new optical gaming switches. It wasn't the RGB wrist rest. It was the dial that's on the top right hand side of the keyboard and all the multimedia keys. Even the wrist rest itself has quite a bit of weight to it. And this keyboard also has almost no branding at all. There's no Razer logos inside. It's so simple. The only Razer branding that this keyboard really has is on the wrist rest itself. And there's a little uh, Razer logo that's like embossed into the wrist rest. That's really the only branding you have on the keyboard. Uh, so that's really cool. The keyboard itself, very, very well built. 
Let's do like a, a bend, bend test. No, it's very sturdy, God. Ooh, ooh, the keys. The, ooh. Here's a little sound test for everyone. That is nice, I like that. Here are the multimedia keys. This is the main selling point for me. The multimedia keys that are in the top right hand side of the keyboard. So this can just scroll forever by the looks of things. There's a uh, mute button. The dial itself, I like. It doesn't feel cheap. It's not metal, it's plastic, I think. I like it, I like the feeling of it, it's nice. It's just a lovely little dial here that you can just spin forever. There's no lock or anything. One problem with this keyboard is that there's also no macro keys on the left hand side like you do with the Black Widow Chroma version 2. And uh, I wish that they did include macro keys in a $200 keyboard. There's also no USB pass through on the right hand side or anywhere of the keyboard. There's just no USB pass through at all. But let's plug in this keyboard. I'm excited to see how all the RGB lights look on the keyboard. I believe there's just like a strip all around the entire keyboard, which is genuinely, it blows my mind. How much RGB they've been able to pack into this keyboard. Taking a look at the bottom of the keyboard, there's I guess three levels in total of like adjustment for the keyboard. So this is like level one, level two, and then level three, which is pretty cool. I'll probably keep mine on the middle setting. You know, we'll see how things go, but yeah. Loving the feel of the keyboard. It's cold, it's metal, it's dope. I'm really happy about it. Even the wrist rest itself has a metal finish on the like outer edges of the wrist rest, which is very nice. And this wrist rest genuinely feels very high quality. The padding itself is very, very soft. A very subtle Razer logo there. The only piece of branding on the keyboard. And if you're wondering how the wrist rest itself connects to the keyboard, as it doesn't need to connect to the keyboard to power the RGB on the wrist rest, there are some pogo pins, I believe these are called. These are called pogo pins. And they simply slot into the keyboard like, is that it? Oh, they just make contact. Oh God, they are magnetic. Uh, if you lift the keyboard up, they will disconnect though. Uh, but God, it is held in by magnets, pretty strong magnets actually. So you can move the keyboard back and forth and it doesn't disconnect, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is, oh, this is lovely. You can feel the metal against your wrists. I don't know if that's a feature or if that might cause like some pain, but the finish itself, very nice. It feels genuinely very high quality. Right, so I guess they sound similar to the Razer Green Keys. I haven't tried out any of the other Razer Keys, like the orange and the yellow, I think. Uh, so I don't know how this sounds like in comparison to them, but they are loud. They're not tactile. The keys themselves are very light to click. Uh, I feel like the travel distance is shorter, like significantly shorter than the Razer Green Keys but I don't know if that's actually the case or if I'm just like thinking that's the case for some reason. I like it. I do like the keyboard so far. Very nice stuff. So let's go ahead and plug it in and set up all the RGB. Bear in mind that I have drilled a hole through my desk to route my keyboard wire through. Uh, hopefully I don't have to like make the hole any bigger to route the uh, new keyboard wires through, which actually that might've been a problem if there would have been free USB ports with this keyboard. Right, so I've taken out the old keyboard and yes, there is a hole in my desk where I route the keyboard wire through. But yeah, let's put that one away. Right, so I've got a hole in my desk here to route the keyboard wire through. And I've already encountered a problem, I guess, which I did address in one of my previous videos where I mentioned this keyboard. Um, so the keyboard, oh my God, please tell me the hub is the same size. Oh God, please. See, the hub here has to fit through the desk. Okay, it fit, it fit, oh my God. Luckily, we don't have to make the hole any bigger. I don't want to ever use that drill ever again. It was awful. Right, okay, the end result isn't that bad. Even though the keyboard wire comes out of a different location from the Razer Huntsman Elite in comparison to the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2, uh, this is where the keyboard wire came out of the previous keyboard and it would go straight down into the hole. This one, however, they've moved the keyboard wire to come out of here for some reason. So now this keyboard wire has to kind of like go at an angle into the keyboard hole, but that isn't really a problem as I can kind of push the keyboard back and you don't really see the hole anymore. And uh, the keyboard wire is more or less hidden as well. So this isn't actually as big of a problem as I thought it might be. And everything seems to look very, very nice. And I guess when you look at the keyboard from this angle here, you don't really see 
the keyboard wire that much and the keyboard mainly looks wireless same with my wireless mouse and wireless mouse pad there as well. So, and they're both RGB. I'm just kidding about the actual mouse pad being wireless. I've drilled a separate hole in the desk to route my mouse pad wire through. So, there we go. There's the current cable management situation with the keyboard and mouse and mouse pad. Everything's cable managed very nicely. And uh, now we just have to plug everything in and uh, I'll show you all the RGB effects. So the keyboard should be lit up. Oh my God. God damn, the keyboard is lit up. There is lighting all underneath the keyboard as well as you can kind of see there and the multimedia keys are lit up as well I'm so sorry about the dust on the desk as well I can't really do much about that when you have a black IKEA Linmon desk it gets very dusty very easily so I can't really do much about the dust I do clean the desk like every couple of days but the dust is just it's hard to keep but it's just hard to keep control of all the dust so there is the keyboard and the mouse and mouse mount all in one shot. Let's turn on Razer Synapse, probably download an update, I believe, or just wait for it to detect the keyboard, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Razer Synapse hasn't even like recognized that there's been a new keyboard plugged in. Right, so Razer Synapse is basically refusing to recognize this keyboard as a keyboard. Uh, I don't know why. I probably need to restart the PC, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so it's restarted. Let's try this again. Let's launch Razer Synapse. Will the keyboard one software update available? I wonder where that could be. Hmm. Let's update Razer Synapse. What's new? Razer Huntsman Elite. That's what I want to be seeing. So let's wait for that to update and then we'll be able to control all the lighting and everything else with the keyboard. Okay, so Razer Synapse 3 has detected the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, as you can see. We press on it, let's configure some cool lighting options. So at the moment it's set to Spectrum Cycle, let's set it to Wave and apply to all Chroma products. Hello? <laughs> the lighting is turned off for some reason on everything now. Nice! Why, why is that the case? Why is the lighting completely turned off now? I mean it did say restart, so I think we should probably maybe do that. Okay, so third time lucky, maybe? I hope so. Third time lucky, everyone. Third time lucky. So, we're gonna press on the Huntsman keyboard. We're gonna press on lighting. Yeah, quick effects. There we go, wave is working. Ooh, God damn, that actually looks so nice. Wow, that actually does look really, really nice. Here's a quick little panning shot of all the RGB in my setup now. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm actually very happy with the way everything looks like at the moment. Like the mouse pads lit up, the mouse is lit up, and the keyboard itself looks really, really cool. There is RGB pretty much everywhere. It's absolutely crazy. The RGB chroma lighting on this keyboard is genuinely out of this world. It looks absolutely crazy at the moment. Also, a few of you are waiting for my review of the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard that I have right here. So I will be working on the review video in the next couple of weeks or days to come. Uh, but apart from that, that has been the unboxing of the Razer Huntsman Elite gaming keyboard with the new Razer Opto mechanical switches that are optical switches, which is pretty cool. And the keyboard has a crazy amount of RGB lighting. And just before we end the video, let's see what happens when we disconnect the wrist rest. Oh, okay, the lighting is just there anyway. Never mind then, it's generally that seamless. And you plug it back in, and it continues on. Very, very cool stuff from Razer. We did have some technical problems connecting the keyboard and getting everything to work, but after restarting my PC two or three times, everything was okay. So luckily everything works. I can now control all the RGB lighting in the keyboard, which is very good. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye.